Wildcats. My name is Mrs. Lachman and I am pleased to help out with this year's STEAM Fair. Now STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, the Arts, and Math. And this year, anybody at Clover Whiting in grades kindergarten through sixth grade can participate. Now, as you're sitting in your class, I'd like you to raise your hand if you have participated in the last couple of years of the STEAM Fair at Clover Whiting. Look around, is there anybody in your class that did? If they did, why don't you pause the video and just ask them what was their topic? Now, like I mentioned, it was science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And it can look a whole bunch of different ways. The thing that I would recommend when you're starting to think about a project is think about something that you're interested in or something that you know a little bit about already. And so um, one of ours was about race cars, because one of my kids really enjoyed race cars. Um, one was about swimming, because one of my kids really enjoys swimming. All about horses. Um, or even Beyblades. We had some really great projects from other kids as well that um, included both something in science and also art. And so there's lots of different things that you can do um, for the STEAM fair as far as a topic. Now I also ask you to think about not only something that you're interested in or something that you know a little bit about, but how about um, something that you want to know more about. So I would also talk about this with your parents because sometimes your STEAM fair project might need some equipment um, or something to um, be able to use or maybe some kitchen supplies or something like that. So it's really important that you talk to your parents about your, your project as well. Now in just a little bit, your teacher will be handing out to you the student packet for this year's STEAM fair. And so there's some important dates that you should be aware of. So today, April 19th, um, we're gonna do a little bit of a kickoff and shortly you're gonna be seeing a video from a UW-Madison professor who does chemistry at the lab, or I think it's science in the lab. And it's so much fun that he changes like, diff like he changes liquids to different colors and it's just, it's so amazing. And you know so much about science and it's also very entertaining. And it'll get you kind of thinking. And then starting today, um, you'll wanna think about what you wanna do for your project and start thinking about the equipment that you need or the question that you want to ask or the topic that you want to think about and um, and then if you do want to participate communicate that with your teacher and you can get a free t-shirt we have a very special clover whiting family and that clover whiting family has sponsored free t-shirts for all the participants and so you can go online to register for your free t-shirt and that will be on your student packet as well have everything ready to go, and then you bring everything in on May 11th, and you present just to your class. I know last year and the year before, we had things set up in the cafeteria and in the art or music room. This year, we want you to present just to your class, and we're going to ask your teacher to video record that. And then Mrs. Gussie in fifth grade will take all of those student video presentations and put those together so that we have a bigger presentation to share with the rest of the class. So, um, other things that you should know is some safety considerations. We don't want any dangerous materials brought into school, of course, and nothing super messy either. So if you want to build a volcano and make a big volcano out of vinegar and baking soda, you know what? Run that experiment on your kitchen table at home with your parents' permission. Make sure you clean up after it. And as you're doing it, make sure you get it on video because we can share those videos with your students, your fellow classmates as well. Um, we don't want anything very expensive or fragile being brought in because, you know, when we're getting dropped off at school or taking the bus to school, things get jostled around and we'd hate for something to get lost or broken. So anything expensive or fragile, just leave at home. You can take pictures of it. That would work too. Um, and no open flames or things that might get broken, okay? Um, there's a whole bunch of different topics uh, for you to uh, explore on some websites on, underneath um, where it says to get started. Choose a topic. Um, you can work with somebody else if that's okay with your parents as well. So maybe a group of two, no more than a group of three um, can work together on a single topic. It could be a research project, so something that you want to learn more about. It could be an experiment, so something that you try out different things. It could be an all-in-one day, or you could piece it out over um, a, a bunch of time. This was um, a display that we did a few years ago um, in which we measured the air temperature, and then we measured how many um, 
the chicken's eggs are eggs our chickens laid and then we graph that out so this project took a few weeks to be able to uh, to be able to complete and so it can take a little bit longer if you're doing that research project you can engineer or build something um, or you can create something with technology or learn more about research something with technology um, you could do an amazing art project um, or a poster board or some type of um, something where you create some different art, maybe some 3D art, like a sculpture or something like that too would be really neat. So it's a lot of different opportunities. Um, do something you are created with, do something that um, you'll enjoy because Steam Fair is supposed to be about the enjoyment. Now, on the back side, it talks about how to start organizing your ideas. And I've already started talking a little bit about that. It kind of takes you through that scientific method if you choose something with science or technology or even that math piece as well. Um, and then the display. So the display can look a couple different ways. One is it can be on a trifold board, um, like the ones that you see behind me. There's a few of them that are left, and um, you can talk to your teacher or Miss Summers in the office about getting one of those from school. Otherwise, you can get ones just like this from Dollar Tree for a dollar, but Staples and Walmart also sell them. You're welcome to also use a poster board, so just a, a white, or they come in all different types of colors, um, poster board, and then put things on your poster board to be able to show in front of your class. And then for this year only, because we are doing the in the classroom presentations, you can choose a digital presentation as well. So you want to be able to use um, like a Google slideshow or something like that. But feel free to still bring in some props, things that are easy to transport back and forth from school. So bring in those props um, and that will um, um, be a little bit more exciting for, for your students, uh, for your fellow classmates to watch. Um, I think that's it for display boards. Um, and our presentations will be on May 11th, although it could change if, you know, the school district calendar changes or whatever. So, but that's the day that we're shooting for. And then your teachers are helping to put together an all day STEAM activity day um, in the middle of May as well, where you can see the video of everybody's STEAM fair project and also um, participate in some STEAM fair activities with your class. Well, if you ever have any questions, you are all able to email me um, at BSF for Boston School Forest at pointschools.net or just search out my name, Mrs. Lachman, and I am happy to answer your questions. Um, don't forget if, you're, if this is something that you're going to do to make sure you register for your free t-shirt. Now, if you still have your t-shirt from last year and it fits just fine, just use your one from last year. That would be great. But we're gonna try to get those t-shirts ready and turned around to you um, so that you can wear them for your presentation. Well, thanks for watching. Good luck with your STEAM fair presentations. I hope you all give it a shot because um, there's so much that we can learn from each other.